Alright guys, let's get started here. So yes, welcome everybody to tonight's Pokemon TCG opening. Um, uh, before I get started, you know, I just want to say, you know, I'm sorry for not doing one uh, last week. Uh, I unfortunately had uh, a little bit of uh, shipping troubles with uh, the last package of uh, Pokemon stuff that was supposed to come in time for last week's opening, but, well, it didn't exactly do so, so, so I wasn't able to do one last week, but, but I do have all the stuff, so, you know, we, 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 got, we got some goodies to open up for, for this week. <laughs> no, this is unfortunately not the Japanese version of uh, the Pokemon opening. Um, yeah, I, yeah, I, I unfortunately don't collect the Japanese cards, but I, I do have some of the some really old ones, just uh, in a binder somewhere. So yes. So yes, we're back to weekly Pokemon TCG openings, hopefully we don't have any more shipping issues and all that stuff. So anyways, let's get started here. So this week we actually got a couple boxes we're going to open up here. So first one up here we have the Island Guardians GX Premium Collection. So that's the first box we're going to open up. And then the second box we're going to be opening up is the Premium Pin Collection as well. So yes, uh, both of these boxes actually came out... Uh, I think it's around... Around Christmas time last year? I believe is when they came out. So, uh, I've had the uh, premium collection for a while, and uh, you now I've been trying to find the pin collection to try to open up as well. Um, but I was having a hard time finding the uh, pin collection because I don't know for some reason everybody wanted the uh, the pins. The Excuse me. If I wanted the pin collection over the regular premium collection. So the pin collection was quite a bit harder to find. But found the pin collection. So now we can uh we can uh, pop these bad boys open now. So here we'll get you a good shot of the uh uh so the regular pin collection. Yes, each one does have a nice coin on it. You can see. This box is actually really big. Maybe I'll just sort of move the camera. You can actually see how big the box is. So that's the front of the premium collection. And then there is there's the back of it. And here we'll take the pin collection. See, there's the front of the pin collection. And then get the camera. There's the back of the pin collection. Alright. Here we go. Let's make sure I have the camera position back. Yeah, this camera is a little bit finicky when it comes to focusing stuff on things that I want to focus on. Because 
Uh, sometimes it doesn't really want to do that all too well, but it's unfortunately the best, best USB webcam that I have right now. And by best one, I actually mean it's, well, the only, well, actually it's not the only one that I have, but it is the best one. Alright, so here we go. We'll pop open the premium collection here. And here we make a little extra room. Here these boxes are quite big. The Meows 43, 143, sorry. Welcome to the stream, buddy. Hopefully you're having a great weekend. Alright, so here we go. Premium collection. Uh, so it actually comes with a playmat. So let's actually check out the playmat here. Move this off to the side here. So there we go. There is the Islands Guardians play mats here. Get a good shot of it here. There you go. There is. There's the play mat. See all the Arthur Guardians on there. You got Bulu, Feeny, Lele, Coco. They are all on there. Well, I, I do give away a few codes for the online game, so. So. Keep watching, you may get some uh, free packs for the online game tonight uh, to your collection. Alright, so now let's check out the uh, other stuff here. So, yes, yeah, so silly, as uh, so silly fanboy mentioned, uh, there is a nice coin. So, the regular premium collection has a Tapu Lele coin. All pretty in pink. You also get. Oh, well, that's the code. Uh, we also get a couple of uh, alternate art promos. So here we are, we have. We have Tapu Fini alternate art from Burning Shadows. Come on, camera, there we go. The glare from the light doesn't also also doesn't help either. There we go, there's Tapu Fini right there. Here's the other one, here is Tapu Lele from Guardians Rising. Get a nice good shot of it right there. Alright. And of course, comes the co card. So there you go, guys. There is a co card for you guys. Enjoy your, your bunch of Island Guardians stuff. And we'll take out, take out the giant card. This premium collection also comes with a giant 
version of Lele here. And we also got a whole bunch of packs here. So we got they have a couple lost thunder. They have a couple of been light packs. Come on out here. A couple of evolutions. So you got a couple of chances to pull you know the Charizard or two out of there. And we have a couple of Ancient Origins packs. I mean, actually, actually just recently did a booster box battle a couple weeks ago with my friend Dana. If you guys want to check that out on my YouTube channel, you can uh, be the judge as to see who won that booster box battle there. The Meows 143. Worth a follow. Yo, oh, thank you so much, Meows. Every little bit of support helps. Alright. So there's Tapu Ice Packs. Now let's open up the pin collection here. I guess it's gotta be open from this side. Come on. Gotta say, the regular premium collection was a lot easier to open. Okay. stuff here. Okay, no tabs, please. Well, they got these things. And hopefully the cards will just fall out. Oh, come on. There we go. Yeah, they, they had these little things you have to try to pull off. A little bit annoying, but... Good news is the cards just fall right out. No tabs of death. Destroying your promo cards. So yeah, it's premium pin collection. Same two promos. Of course. Another code card for you guys, so here you guys go. I just want more Island Guardians goodness. Here you go, guys. Alright, so Pin Collection has a nice little blue Tapu Fini coin. All nice and pretty in blue right there. And it's also got these four pins. Because, of course, it's a Pin Collection, so, of course, it's going to have all the pins. I'm gonna get a shot of it. So there's Bulu right there. And there's. There we go. Okay, shot. There's Feeny. Here, 
And last but not least, pretty much the Island Guardian that everybody, that Pokemon, like, made so many promos of is Coco here. I think Coco got, like, the most promos of all the Island Guardians. So yes, pin collection. So they have a giant Lele card. We got a giant Feedy card right here. And we also get these same eight packs as well. So got more Lost Thunder, Bit of Lights, Evolutions, and then of course. Origins. So these will be those will be Feeny's packs. Alrighty. So yeah, just from these two boxes, you actually have quite a lot of packs. You have a cool sixteen packs here, but of course, that's not enough for us. We gotta have a few more. So here we go, guys. We got we got a few more packs here. So there you go. A few more ancient origins, evolutions, forbidden light, and lost thunder. That will be, this will be our sort of booster box of uh, mixed packs here. Yeah, this, this is quite a bit, but... But, you know, I want to have like a, you know, an actual, you know, an actual lengthy stream you know, I don't want to have openings where I'm just opening like, you know, four packs and that's it. That's that's not really much of a stream now, unfortunately. Am I gonna give all the codes? Well, I'm not gonna give all the codes away, but I'll definitely give you some. Maybe maybe I'll give uh, I'll give one of each. Uh, set we're gonna be opening up to today away. So, so here we go, guys. Let's get started. So we'll start with Ancient Origins. But before we get started, I want everybody, I want everybody to place your bets. Who's gonna have the better box in this opening? Is it gonna be? Tapu Lele, it's gonna have the better box here. Or is it gonna be Tapu Fini that's gonna reign supreme and have all the goods? So, yes, everybody place your bets now. Alright, here we go, guys. Here we go. Ancient Origins. Let's get started here. Oh, we have one vote for Lele. All right. Uh, I'm just gonna move the pans over here. Don't want them getting in the way of all the packaging that's gonna be unwrapped here. Uh, so yes, Ancient Origins, I guess we'll be looking for, I guess, uh, Gold, Primal Karga, and Gold, Primal Karga, I don't know, I guess, are going to be the two cards we're going to be looking for here. Because the Gold versions of those Primal uh, Pokemon are at yeah, the gold versions of the Primal Pokemon and the Mega Rayquaza, they're the most valuable cards in Ancient Origins. 
Believe it or not, they are actually more valuable than the secrets in this set. So you have Curly as a first reverse. And we're starting off with a Red Jace. So already we're getting some getting some Reggie cards. Alright, I guess Ancient Origins we'll put no, over here, I guess. Seems like a good spot. So yes, you know, it feel, feels pretty good to, to get back to opening up some packs for you guys. You know, unfortunately, had a few issues with uh, packet the last package not get could not get into my house in time for last week, but but it's okay. You've all been resolved now, and we are good. So hopefully, we can get something good. All kind of like this one. <coughs> There we go. Starting off with a bang. Full art Mega and Faros EX. Alright, second pack. There we go. Alright. So, yeah, we're off to a good start. Two packs in, we already have our... We already have a full art. So you gotta love that. Awesome. Was that Mega Infaros with... Exavolt. We do 50 more damage and leave your opponent's active Pokemon paralyzed. If you use Pokemon, does 30 damage to itself. So pretty, pretty powerful attack there. All right, well, Ancient Origins providing us with some early, early goods. That is awesome. That is that's what we like to see here. So hopefully we can keep it going here. All right. So yeah, uh, another th another thing I should mention here. Uh, getting hidden fate stuff. Uh, extremely challenging. Um. Everybody kind of wants to to get their hands on Hidden Fates. And I mean, who, who can blame who can blame the people? I mean, you got all sorts of shiny Pokémon in there. Kluna $500 shiny Charizard that's in the sets. You also got the the four gold Tapu Island Guardian cards in there. What else you got? You got Full Out Cynthia there. You got Full Out Guzma. You got the Legendary Bird Trio as the first Trio Tag Team GX cards. So many good cards in it. And I really want to get my hands on Hidden Fate stuff, but. Everybody, everybody's like selling out all the sites everywhere online to get get any of the packs. So, so yeah, I mean, yeah, that's it. That's right. That's right. Meows. Yeah, the set kind of sold like so so quick. You know, it was kind of like, 
it, it's basically it was is it's basically the same thing as to what happened when you know the Japanese equivalent of um, Hidden Fates came out uh, last year, which was GX Ultra Shiny. You know, everybody from everybody all over the world really wanted to uh, get their hands on the cards. Uh, so much so that they had to actually like they had to like limit orders to like like one person one box per person because when they finally when they released GX Ultra Shiny they just got flooded with orders it was crazy And now, Kingdom Fates comes out, and then we got, you know, which is basically our, you know, English version of GX Ultra Shiny, and, well, needs, needs to say if I kind of wants the set. Oh yeah, it is a great collector set, for sure. All right, let's see here. Let's start with let's start with Tapu Lele first. So let's see what Tapu Lele's got in its ancient origins packs. But yes, the goal for me, you know, hopefully later on in the next like few weeks or so, is to um, maybe just maybe get my hands on uh, some hidden fate stuff so that I can open it up for you guys because I, I really want to open up a bunch of packs of that set. Meanwhile, <laughs> the, 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 the Let's go, Tapu Lele, providing us with the goods. Look at that ultra rare full art Curum EX. There we go. We, we, this is actually one of the full arts. We had actually did not pull. We've not pulled from each Origins yet. So that is... That is awesome. So that is... Two full arts already. We are... We're looking good. That is cool. Wow, I like the artwork. That artwork is actually really cool. <laughs> well, now hold on. I mean, still got the Tapu Fini packs here. I mean, you never know. Tapu Fini could. Could also have something really good in it in its pack still. Oh uh, well, I mean, well, I, I guess I could. I mean, it doesn't it doesn't really matter, like. Like the, did I do the trick? I don't know if I did it. Okay, no, I, I did do it, okay. Don't worry, I didn't spoil myself as to what was in there. Sorry, I, I, I was like talking, I was talking that I lost track of what I was actually doing.
Don't worry, no, I didn't see it already. It's alright. I didn't spoil myself. Eh, well, I mean, it was a non hollow rare anyway, so. At least I didn't spoil myself of goods. <laughs> But yes, I I mean I, I could I could save the code for you, but it doesn't matter because like the code card that you get in each pack doesn't actually doesn't actually represent what you're gonna get in the online game as well. So like So like even if you Yeah, some sometimes it does, but not all the time. Like sometimes you open up an actual pack of cards, you get full art. The code gives you like nothing. And in other times there'll be packs of cards where you open it up, you get nothing, and the code gives you like a full art or a secret rare or something like that. Like it's it's just completely it's just completely random what you're gonna get. And what we're getting is. Another ultra rare! This time it is a Giratina EX. That was actually out of the. Uh, that was out of uh, one of the Tapu Fini packs. So very nice. Wow, both. Both Island Guardians providing us with some good stuff so far. Man, so far these packs are looking good. Alright, so that is... So that's our first regular Ultra Rare. Alright, here we go, guys. Here we go, last Ancient Origins pack over here. So, so yeah, this will be the code we give away here. So, there you go. There is your Ancient Origins code for tonight, guys. See what awesome pulls you get out of there. Hopefully, maybe it's one of the ancient Pokemon. I mean, it's a Rayquaza, Godon, Karuga. Who knows what it might what might lie in that code? So yeah, let's see if. Feeny can get something good out of this pack as well. So we go last reverse all for each origins. We have unknown and a clay doll. Surprisingly, this clay doll is actually pretty hard to pull out of out of each origins. I I find. All right, so. So both I guys provide us some, some goods with some ancient origins packs, but that is gonna be one zero four Lele as it had the full art. Whereas Feeny just had a regular ultra rare. Alright guys, here we go. Next set here. Evolutions Evolutions, this is of course the reprint of the original these sets celebrate the 20th 20th anniversary of the Pokemon 
trading card game that was released that was first released out in Japan and I believe it was I believe it was 1996 I believe was the year the uh, trading card game was first first came out in Japan we of course got a few years later in 99 when we got our our base set Ooh, okay that's a good reverse hollow to get out of evolutions reverse hollow energies always look really cool especially when it's especially when it's like a, a a, uh, a basic energy card. Like reverse hollow basic energy cards will always look awesome with the foil. Where it's this set, Generations, Shrine Legends. What's the other what's the other two sides? Oh yeah, Dragon Majesty and Hidden Fates. They also pull reverse hollow energies. And they look so cool. So who knows, maybe we'll get one or two more Reverse Hollow Energy cards. That would be pretty sweet. Of course, I prefer the Reverse Hollows to be Charizards. So that's what we're going for, it's Charizards. can we talk about here? Oh, well, I guess I could talk about uh, FFR and with the uh, ongoing tournament that's been going on for the last few weeks. Oh, there we go. We actually have our first quote-unquote secret rare because they're not actually that hard to pull out of Evolutions. Here we are, we have the Flying Pikachu Secret Rare. Of course, a reprint of the Black Star promo card. Actually, the old Black Star promo card that uh, Wizards of the Coast way back when used to make Pokemon cards. So that's good. So that's kind of, that's kind of our first hit. In, in this set. You also get a, a, a Hollow Rare Reverse Hollow with Clefairy. That's pretty nice. God, I love Clefairy. So that's pretty good. Hey, two hits in one pack. You got you gotta love that. You gotta love getting I love getting multiple hits in one pack. Oh, it's always a feels good man right there. But yes, as I was about to talk about for well, flying Pikachu just you know came flying into the pack. Um, sixth round of the F of the FR tournament has started. Sadly, I was eliminated in round five once again, so ho-hum, just another official tournament where I'm eliminated in round five. So that's when the rest of D6 gets really good. Starts going ham. But ho oh. Maybe, maybe Lucky 13 will be the official tournament. I finally get past round 5. But, you know, who knows when the next official tournament's going to come, because... 
Because this one was like... Like the first one in like three years or something like that. Like... Like it, like it was a long time since the 11th official tournament, so... So it's kind of nice that they have another official tournament once again. Um, also, I also they did post. Uh, they're gonna have a new um sort of so, sort of uh how how should I say it a version raffle token that's uh, going to be awarded in this tournament. So I'm kind of hoping you know, if I manage to uh, if I somehow manage to win that token, maybe I'll do like an FR video on YouTube showcasing the uh, the new the new Raffle token. I know. I know. On the site, it actually has a. There's actually, they actually mentioned the song that's going to be used for the new Raffle token. But if you like try to click on the link, it really take just takes you to a different page. Cause, well, they haven't exactly um, put the file in the game yet. But I'd imagine sometime after the official tournament is all set and done, they will probably put put the uh, the raffle file in the game. Oh, there we go. Got, got another hit here. So, here we go. We have our first break card. We have Knit O King Break. So, yes. I actually almost forgot to mention that we got to pull break cards in this set. It's actually the last XY set, and therefore, the last set that you can actually pull break cards. King break toxic drill it does a lot of damage. 120 is a lot. So that is awesome. Finally get another hit of evolutions here. Alright, here we go. So Lele went first. Each origin, so we'll, we'll do the Feeny packs first. See if Tapu Feeny can provide us with uh, some goods. We actually haven't got much out of, of evolutions. But, I mean, that, that's gonna happen. I mean, these are just... These are just loose packs after all, so... Ratios... Are gonna be all over the place. Oh, is that a reverse rare? Oh, it is! Alright! There we go, that's a reverse rare fur fetched. And still not much. Hey, I guess the reverse rare is kind of something. Maybe I'll stick the fur fetch on the bottom there. Here you go, second evolutions pack for Tapu Fini. Alright. See what 
see what else Tabby Feeny's got in its evolutions packs here. It's got a fish. So I guess that, that's kind of something. <laughs> Not really. And... Oh, it's got a hollow rare Clefairy. Very nice. So there we go. Hey, Tapu Fini actually got got a little something something. The Hollow Rare is pretty nice. Yeah, I actually really like the Hollow pattern on the uh, on the Hollow Rares here. You kind of see how it like got all the sparkles and everything. You know, trying to try to mimic the old, like base set sparkly foil cards that the older sets, like you know, base sets and those those, those really old sets, you know, and the fall fall cards that they had. Alright, how, how do I want to order this? Let's put... Fairy... or anything that came there. Alright, so Feeny... had a hollow rare. We'll see what Lele's got. It's Evolutions Packs. So how is he in Charizard yet? So we still, we still have a couple more chances for a Charizard to happen. But yeah, it's, always, it's so cool seeing like these original arts again. Oh, it's got a secret rare. There we go. You know, quote unquote secret rare, cause. Like I said earlier, <laughs> they're not too, too hard to pull in this set. But there we go. That is a secret rare. A uh, bilingual executor. Kind of have the, uh, the little professor with the card on his forehead. I'm not exactly sure who the... Uh, does that actually say the professor's name on here? I guess Dr. Uyama, I guess, is the the little dude here. Yes, that's pretty neat. Getting a, getting a secret rare out of there. So, so I, I guess technically... I guess technically we have already pulled two secrets already. They're just unfortunately not very secret if uh, you know the secrets kind of take the place of an uncommon card instead of a regular rare that secret rares normally take up in a uh, boost attack here. Here we go, last evolutions pack. That means another code for you guys. So there you go, I'll see if you can... I don't know, pull Charizard? What is in this set? You got Charizard. Made of Venusaur, Mega Blastoise, I think is all in the, all in the set. So, definitely a lot of good pulls that are potential. Well, there's Charmander. Maybe, maybe, maybe we'll pull Charmander's dad out of here right now. Oh, another secret rare! Oh, I guess I should be saying... Uh, secret rare. <laughs> so there we go, that's two executors now. 
Very nice. Well, we got Vulpix, so I mean, it's sort of the last chance to pull Trimander's dad here. Oh, nope, nope, never mind. We just got. We just got bees! And I guess I should mention the Booster Box Battle had a lot of bees pulled from the two booster boxes we opened. Alright, so. I don't know, you guys be the call. Who who had the better evolutions packs? You know, top of the way I got you know, two secrets, but Feeny had the hollow rare. Oh. Yeah, I'll just go with Lele. Alright. Sounds good. We'll say Lele is up to nothing here. Well, definitely Lele so far has got the better box. So far. Alright, here we go. Now on to... Oh, it's a Forbidden Light here, so now we're diving into the Sun and Moon series. So let's see. Forbidden Light, we could pull... Secret Rare Mysterious Treasure, Secret Rare... Uh, Secret Rare Beast Ring is possible. So let's see... See what we get out of our Forbidden Light packs here. Do you believe this is also the set the uh, we printed a lot of the uh, Pokemon cards from from Ultra Prism as a uh, different sort of their alternate uh, type and whatnot. Oh, there we go. Well, speak speaking of a B string, here is the regular B string. So, maybe that is a sign that we are going to get the secret one coming up. <coughs> Ugh. Maybe it's a sign. We're gonna get the secret rare beast ring out of here. Alright. Oh, so the co cards. Oh, the, oh, yeah, the co cards are like the other way, so I have to like. I have to like fling it off really fast. So you guys don't see what color it is. We don't want we don't want to spoil it. We don't want to ruin Don't want to ruin the pack if it ends if it ends up being like a green co card and whatnot. Wow, well look at here, we have a reverse hollow beast ring. They are really trying to tell us here that Yeah man, we're alright to get that secret rare beast ring. We have ascended the tier of the beast ring. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Don't bad the card. It's just, a, it's just not a hollow air, but nah, it's not bad the cards. I want to keep my cards in good condition. Yeah, man. We're, we're ascending. We are ascending the realm of the beast. We started at the bottom, just just the regular one. Now we're up to reverse. And of course, that last level, of course, the secret.
Only then, when we get the secret rare one, we will know the secrets of the beast. Oh, a heat ran reverse. That's a rare reverse holo. Very nice. Gotta love getting double rare packs. Rare reverse hollows are always nice to get. Cause that means you get two rare cards in a single pack. I gotta love it when that happens. see here. It's what? Pack number four. Four of nine. Yeah, that's right, so we got nine. Nine packs of each set. Nine times four does equal 36. There are 36 packs in a booster box. Yeah, we're gonna get... Nice! Hey! Not a rare. Here we go, we have a Greninja GX. Very, very nice. Oh, that artwork actually looks really cool. Trying to make out what's going on there. Looks like he's throwing... Throwing a shurikens at something. Not entirely sure what. It's found a target and he is uh he's going after them. Actually also really nice to pull the regular Ultra Greninja. Cause I've I've actually pulled the full art in a couple of secrets of the Greninja on this stream before, so... Finally nice to get the regular Ultra Rare Greninja. Complete the trifecta of Ninja Frogs. Okay, uh, oh boy, what else can we talk about? Oh, and you know what? I guess we can talk about... Talk about AGDQ. Uh, games list for AGDQ will be released October 6th. So, um... Really, really hoping to uh, get a game into AGQ uh, this time around. Hey, a Hall of Rare Garchomp. Very nice. Also, wait, was this Malamar? Oh, this Malamar was a uh, Rare Reverse Hall. So there we go. Once again, two hits in the pack. But yes, um, yeah, really hoping to get a game to uh, AGQ for 2020. Because I've been submitting games to AGQ for, this would be the sixth AGQ I've submitted games to. So far, I am 0 for 5. And I'm really hoping that I do not go 0 for 6. Because then I will be a very sad boy over here. But honestly, I'm feeling really good about my, uh, my submissions. I, I think, I think this is my, uh, 
my best chance yet to get a game into Age of the Q this year. I feel like it's gonna happen. Oh, hey, here we go. We have a we have our first Prism Star. We have a Volcanion. So yes, I actually forgot to mention. Um, I believe it's uh this yeah this set in Lost Thunder. We can actually we actually have the chance to pull some Prism Stars. Which again, just like break cards in the XY series, they take the place of a reverse hollow. So that is very nice. So Oh that was a Lele pack, so Lele once again providing us with some goods. With a Prism Star. So that is awesome. So yeah, Meow, is your uh, predictions looking pretty good? So far, it seems like Lele has got some pretty good packs in its box. Man, should, should almost bet money on it. But like, but like, yeah, I'm gonna bet five bucks. Lele is gonna have the best box over Feeny. I mean, hey, so far, you, so far, you'd be looking pretty good with that five dollar bet. Hey, reverse hollow buzzwall. That's another rare reverse hollow. I'm gonna certainly take that. Here we go, we have a lightning tree. Alright, so. We got a prism star. Let's see what. Let's see what Feeny's got. What does Tapu Feeny get? In its packs. Can it do better than a Prism Star? We will find out. Oh, we got some eggs. Did ha I did have breakfast. Normally I'm not a breakfast person, but I did have some breakfast. And I did have eggs for breakfast. Reverse Rotom is another rare reverse holo. Wow. Getting all these rare reverse hollows now. It's pretty nice. Once again, gotta say, it is always nice to get two rare cards in a pack. Always feels good, man. Alright, here we go. Last Forbidden Light pack here. And that means, well, I'm going to give away a Forbidden Light code here right now. So there you go, guys. See if you can, I don't know, pull a B string? Doesn't look like we're gonna send to the secret rare of the B string, but who knows? Maybe maybe the code Maybe the code card has the secret rare B string. And we just need someone else to unlock it. Unlock the secret of the beast. Alright, reverse hollow skido for our last Forbidden Light reverse. And the hollow rare for Omaza. So 
So there we go. At least Feeny. At least Feeny had a, a hollow rare. So that's not too, too bad. But so far, I mean, it's not looking really good for Tapu Feeny. Tapu Lele, once again. Maintaining a pretty good size lead. Us. Uh, uh, so far, it's got. So far, it's looking like Tappy Feeny is going to have the better box here, but. We still have Lost Thunder to go, so maybe. Maybe Tapu Feeny can. Uh, maybe Tapu Feeny's last two packs are going to be really good. But yes, here we go. Last set we're going to be open up here for tonight. We have Lost Thunder. So let me let me think for a second. What what could, what card could we pull from Lost Thunder? What would be a good card to go for in Lost Thunder? I am thinking. Secret Rare, Zero Aura. That's what I'm thinking. We'll go for a Secret Rare, Zero Aura for our nine Lost Thunder Packs. Maybe, maybe, maybe we will get a little something, something good out of here. Alright, so first reverse haul of Lost Thunder. We have a Cascoon. So there we go, I got go a Cocoon. And we're starting off with a Hollow Rare Maginium. Very nice. There we go, that is a pretty solid start. Alright, nice to start off with a Hollow Rare. Especially one of of the uh, the second generation of starter Pokemon. Trouble opening up that pack. I mean, that is also a sign that we'll get something good out of here. All right. So yes, hoping to get a game to HQ. Oh, hold up! Reverse Hollow Dialga. I think that is a hollow rare verse hollow. I think. Either way, it's it's a it's a, a reverse rare, which is once again always nice. Two rare cards in one pack. Then we have Oh, this is the damage unknown. This one is. Oh yeah, this Pokemon is an active Pokemon. There are six six more damage counts on your bench Pokemon. Then you can use the ability to win the game. So again, kind of, kind of Pokemon's version of, you know, instant, instant wing conditions. That of course, you know, you know, winning conditions are not like you know, you know, getting all your prize cards or running up, running your opponent out of uh, Pokemon on their on their fields or decking them out because those are like the. Those three are like the most common ways to 
to win your pocket battles. Of course, probably, you know, the way you want to win is, well, not like that Pokemon, get your prize cards. And running your part out of Pokemon. Cause Yeah, once you once you power runs out of Pokemon, that is GG's. Come on. Open up here. All right. Well, we're down to the last few packs here. Getting down to the wire. Let's see if we can get some help from our island guardians. Provide us with some sort of goods. The last few packs here. Oh, we got Hall of Rare Caesar. Okay. There we go. We got our second Hall of Rare from Lost Thunder. That is pretty nice. And of course, you are not. You're not guaranteed to get a Hall of Rare in every pack. Also, of course, you know, you open up Shrine Legends or Dragon Majesty. In which, in that case, it is guaranteed that you are going to get Hollow Rares. Well, actually, in uh, Detective Pikachu 2, you, you can actually put that set on there as sets where you are guaranteed Hollow Rare cards. Except Detective Pikachu is kind of a uh, special set where you know all the cards in the set are foil. But then again, Detective Pikachu is also a very very small set, so you know you only get a few cards in each pack. They are all foils. See, so, you know, that's always cool right there. We got Trickeria. Let's go with the Meganium we got earlier. And we got another Hollow Rare. This time it's Jump Loft. Alright, so we, we actually got a few, we got a few four cards out of here. That is not too bad. Very nice, hey. It's some pretty, pretty, pretty decent luck, I guess. You know, three foils out of five packs, always nice. Alright. Tapu Fini is starting off here. So here we go, last four packs. We're going to start with Tapu Fini's. Lost Thunder Packs. See if, uh... See if Tapu Fini can provide us with, uh... Any more goodies. And, well, if Tapu Fini can't, then... Then I guess it, then it'll be pretty safe to say... That Tapu Lele would have gotten the better box of the two Island Guardians. Oh, hey, oh, wait, more lols. Can we get some more lols in chat, maybe? I know, I know, I know more lol is a, uh, is an emote somewhere out there on, uh, Frank Facey. Hyrule Kid! Welcome to the stream, buddy. 
Hopefully you've had a, a nice weekend and are doing well. Just in time for the last few packs of the opening. Well, I'm hopefully gonna pull something good. All right, here we go, third to last pack. So yes, how you doing, high roll kid? Hopefully you've had a great weekend. So far, they're enjoying the last little bit of it. All right, so here we go. Reverse hole on that too. And oh yeah, Tapu Fini. Yeah, Tapu Fini does not have a very good box, so. So that so there you go, meow. Your uh, prediction was right. Tapu Lele has gotten the better box between between Lele and Fini. So now any other goodies, basically, Lele gets is just well, it's just bonus. Let's see here. Couple more chances for some some good pulls. Any luck finding hidden fates packs? Well, uh, the only hidden fate stuff that I have are the uh, the Mewtwo and Mew uh, pin collections. So currently, that is the only Hidden Fate stuff that I have. But I want to get loose packs for it as well, so I can actually... So I can actually, like, you know, stream an actual Hidden Fates opening for you guys. It's... It's the getting all the loose packs, you know, I'm trying to get at least 36 of them to go with the pin collections that I want to open. Um, that's the most difficult part right now. And also, you know, Hidden Fates packs are, you know, Hidden Fates packs are, are pretty expensive. Like, I think. I think here in Canada, I think a hidden a fates pack is like uh, seven dollars or something here in Canada. Which, uh, which my guess in America is probably like oh, I don't know, five dollars. I think I think it's like I think it's like five or it's at least five dollars American for a single pack of Hidden Fates. So I mean the packs are really expensive, but you know there is potential great value that could come out of a Hidden Fates pack. Like, of course, a $500 Shining Charizard card. Because that's what everybody's going for. And hopefully, you know, pretty soon I'm going to be doing the same. So here we go. Last reverse hall we have Detonate. Yeah, well, we got Moltres. We, we got one third of the... Uh, Legendary Bird Trio. So I guess that's kind of something. Alright, so yes. 
that was the last pack so so before I do the recap uh, first I'd like to say congratulations to Tapu Lele who had the better box in this uh, box battle between Lele and Fini Yes, yes, GG's all around, you know, that was some good games, but yes, anyways, uh, time for the recap, let's, re let's recap, uh, you know, all the, uh, all the polls we got, so, first we will start with, uh, Ancient Origins, uh, first set that we opened up. So, reverse hollows. We have Matang, Level Ball, Curlia, Sableye, Malamar, Sandra, another Curlia, Sligu, and Unknown. For our one holo rare, we had Falcarona. Our one regular ultra rare, we had Giratina EX. And our two ultra rare full arts, we had Kurum EX and Mega Ampharos. So that was Ancient Origins. Now on to, on to Evolutions. So, Reverse Hollows, Evolutions, we had Clefairy, Metal Energy, which looks really awesome, Revive, Poliwag, Farfetch, Chomp, Full Heal, and Vulpix. Oh, excuse me. For our quote-unquote secret rares... We had we had two executors, which are the bilingual executors. And we had a flying Pikachu. For our one hollow rare we had Clefairy. And our one break card, we have Nido King. All right, now on to four bit in light here. For reverse hollows, we had Noibat, Heat Ran, The Ring of the Beast, Fla Baby, Malamar, Buzzwall, Rotom, and Skidoo. For our hollow rare, we had Feromaza and Gurjump. Our one Prism star, we had Volcanion. And our one ultra rare, we had the Ninja Fuck himself, Greninja. Alright, and last but not least, we have Lost Thunder. So reverse, so reverse, Lost Thunder, we have Cascoon, Alga, Chincho, Stunfist, Chikorita, Morlalls, Natu, Unknown, and Detonay. And for our Hollow Rares, we have Jumpluff, Caesar, and Meganium. Alright guys, so yes, that is it for this week's 
Pokemon TCG opening. Very nice to to get back to these after missing this week. Um, uh, as for the rest of this week, um, hopefully, hopefully get back to uh, uh, streaming a lot more um, uh, puzzle challenge for you guys uh, with the uh, upcoming tournament. That's uh, actually no, it's not upcoming. It's going on right now. Upcoming is not exactly the correct word. So yes, yeah, so hopefully I can uh, uh, get back onto uh, streaming for you guys for the rest of the week. Um, last week, kind of, kind of didn't really do much of that, so I want to try to get back on top. Uh, streaming. So, yeah. So, yes, anyways, thank you everybody for watching. And until next time, everybody, have a great night. Take care. And I will see you guys next time.